Evening, it's Carl. Thought I'd do another video. Um, been a little bit busy this evening trying to organize this. You can see there's a, a bit more space on these shelves that were completely rammed. Even a whole empty shelf there. Wicked. Um, I said these videos would hopefully help me get a bit more organized um, and get things listed in batches. So I've cleared some space and I've piled up the electricals. Um, I did say that we tend to stockpile stock. We go and collect it from the main supplier um, and we just grab it all. We've sold some bits recently and taken some bits back that don't work um, and swapped them for other bits. Um, got a couple of bits here I think I mentioned before. Oh, I nearly fell over then. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. Uh, the NAD, NAD 502 CD player. Uh, that was broken. Did put it up for auction. It had three watches and no bids with two days left. So um, I ended that um, before I had a 99p bid on it and I'm going to take it back to the shop and I think it was like £8 we usually pay for um, things like that and we'll, we'll either get something else electrical if they've got it in or we'll just get it as credit towards the books and clothes and that we get. Breadmaker, I uh, haven't put that on eBay yet. It's uh, it's on a Gumtree, I think, and local Facebook groups, but uh, yeah, you know, I think £25 they go for. Classic vintage Mega Drive. Uh, Boxed and everything, £119, bargain. It's got uh, micro machines with the the extra ports so you can make it four player and virtual racing game and I think two aftermarket controllers. Um, I'm not really going to go into too much computer stuff though. As you can see, i got all the PS2 games there I bought and bundles and a Wii and stuff at home, but I don't know enough about making good bundles with that yet, so I'll just bore you with my lack of knowledge about it. Uh, Iowa, VHS, Combo. Beautiful, beautiful that is. A lot of parents get these apparently because uh, kids just obviously destroy DVDs. They scratch them up. So um, we did have this on auction, um, collection only, and there was no bids, but they've been selling for, I think, maybe 15 25 15 20 25 something like that. I can't remember. Um, so I might keep that, just put that on because we can use this to test some of the DVD players Um Things like that. CD players might be a hook up to the TV. I'm not sure what, what the things it's got at the back. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can use it to test stuff. So I'm happy to keep it here rather than, than having a ferry stuff home to uh, to test. Um, we got, let's just say, a few more electrical items than I realised. Um, they were just buried and I was just digging them out. Only, only, from, only from these shelves. It's surprising how buried it was. You can probably see on the other couple of videos that... Um, we had a, quite a bit of stuff piled up, but I just kept digging them out and digging them out. It's just like, oh my God, there's like more and there's more, there's more. So I'll go through some of the bits now that we've got that um, I'm going to hopefully, I had a quick look up now, so I got some rough prices, um, but I got to start testing them and get them listed. Um, firstly, Yamaha keyboard. Now this we got given as a replacement for a CD player or uh, a stereo item that didn't work. But um, I was going to say, can you open it now? It's uh, Yamaha Porter Sound PC100. Um, all looks tidy enough. Case, original instructions, even some um, sheet music that's unopened and stuff, and some other some other books. But there's no batteries for it, so that will need a test with some batteries. But that's the way they're looking at going for thirty-five, forty pounds, I think, if it works. But um, it looks quite tidy. Fingers crossed someone's just uh, giving it in because it's quite old and taking up space. The case, as you can see, is uh, the case looks quite dirty, but hopefully the, uh, the uh, actual keyboard's good. A uh, couple of micro hi-fi systems. Sony one with some speakers. They'll get you know, £25 maybe, a little bit of postage on top. Um, some of the bigger things like this, I'll try local first. Facebook groups, Gumtree, just to save posting them um, and get a quick sale. We sold a DS today, bundle. Um, twenty-five pound with a couple of games just to just to get it shifted and get some money in. Really, um, some speakers down here, JPW, uh, some black ones, and some a set of Gale speakers. I think these Gale speakers did come with one of the Hi-Fi separates that we've got, but um, they're looking at maybe twenty to thirty pound a pair. Uh, another micro system, JVC one with a tidy set of speakers and a remote. Not often we're lucky enough to get a remote with the stuff we get, so. Uh, that's a good job. Again, maybe 25 quid, something like that, 30 quid, a quick sale. You know, that's quite tidy. Um, this is quite interesting. Uh, I got all the little post-it notes there. 
through the case, you know, the case looks dirty. This is, this could have been a real gem, but unfortunately it's not. And it's probably going to be worth about three quid. But it's a Grundig TK18. And it's uh, an old reel-to-reel -reel tape player. Um, but the thing is, yeah, it's we got given this um, by someone who obviously didn't want to didn't want to keep it, but didn't want to sell it because the annoying thing is, I mean, they've cut the tape here. I'm assuming it just you know someone who wants it will actually get a replacement for that. Um, they might just add their awful singing on it or something like that, or my singing on it, even worse. Uh, the actual tape player is quite um, really, really tidy. But the most annoying thing is, the, uh, obviously, the outer case. The outer case isn't great, but the most annoying thing is, cut the power cord off so that someone couldn't um, resell it, I suppose. And then they ended up giving it to us. So they're only going. I thought, you know what? This could have been a, this could have been a nice little gem here. But then upon seeing that, I got there thirty. Uh, thirty quid is what they're going for, and that's in decent condition. So you know, I think it's pretty much worthless i will uh i'll chuck that up as an auction and just you know I'll, I'll get the postage for it because we've got given it i'll get the postage for it and if it goes for a couple of quid it goes for a couple of quid we'll just get it out of the way uh but someone might want someone might want it for some spare parts and you know we could get 10 15 quid it'd be interesting to see i'll uh keep people updated we've got here a lovely uh <coughs> sing that sewing machine very very tidy it's uh was it 185k model if it can focus there we are 185k it's absolutely gleaming spanking all over pat tested like all the stuff that we get is from uh from our supplier that's very good but this is uh yeah this is very tidy and we've got this is our trying to try to film something and look at something at the same time i'm not used to this yet uh sewing machine attachments the box in here, there's all, all sorts of attachments and that. It's all real shiny, real good condition. Um, also here, this other little sewing accessories, um, some other bits and the instructions and stuff. But yeah, real, uh, real, real tidy example. Um, now they go for what do I write here between ninety and one hundred and forty. So um, because it's got all that and it's quite tidy, I think I'll price it high. Um, I'm not sure what we paid for it. Mish, my girlfriend, would have picked it up. Um, probably ten, probably ten pound maximum. Um, we don't tend to pay more than like eight pound for, for um, you know, the best sort of things. So yeah, that will hopefully. Uh, I've heard they're quite popular. Haven't had one before. We'll see. Should be good. Um, here, sharp hi-fi with the remote. Now there's none of these at all on eBay or have sold in the last three months. So I've got no idea. It looks half decent. Whether it works, we did have one the other week similar to this, but it didn't work. So uh, they, they had a triple deck thing and triple CD player. Um, and it just kept spinning and then locking and it wouldn't actually play anything. So we took it back to the shop and that's probably what I took back to get given the uh, keyboard. But um, yeah, we said we'll test it. We'll give it a go. 30, 40 quid, hopefully. We'll try and shift it locally again to avoid posting it. Um, just saves a bit of hassle then. Uh, sharp DVD CD player with some surround sound speakers as well. Um, so that should hopefully get 20 to 25 quid. You know, DVD players get, you know, 10, 15 quid, not too much. But um, with the surround sound speakers, maybe get a little bit extra. Um, so that could be good. Now, someone on the group, I can't remember who it was, um, the UK reselling group that is on Facebook, had a typewriter the other day. Uh, I found one of these in, uh, in, our, in our stock, uh, Imperial Signet. Very tidy. Some of the keys are a bit miscolored, um, but very tidy in the case. Everything looks to be okay. I might have to. Um, I might write an essay just to test it to make sure it works. Send it into a chat magazine and get twenty-five quid for having a letter printed in the first place, and then hopefully sell that for around twenty-five quid. Some of them, um, the decent clean ones. Um, so fifty quid if my letter's good enough for chat or OK magazine. We'll see. I'll put a photo in. I just won't send the uh, the music from the Grundig machine of me singing. And uh, they should pay me. Maybe even pay me to not write again. We'll see. Uh, here, this was a this was a, a, a nice little bargain. This is a Crossley. Um, and now it's like a three-in-one. It's got compact disc player, radio, sorry, four-in-one. 
Um, it's got a turntable. And if I can turn it a bit, there's a cassette player, which the lady said when she sold it to me, um, she didn't even realise that it had a cassette player until she bought it down to give to me. Um, now, this was off of local Facebook group, I think. Um, I think she was honest. She said the belt keeps slipping, either slipping off or it's loose. So, that, so uh, it's, it, the, the CD player, uh, the turntable wasn't working properly anyway. So uh, she wanted just three quid. Um, you know, you can see now the wood is absolutely, absolutely gleaming. You know, there's not there's not a mark on it. It's uh, it's very very tidy. I looked these up. They're going for crossly three in one, four in one. Um, I think God, this was a few months ago now when I first bought this. Um, I think they were going for around fifty five, something like that, fifty five, sixty quid. Um, so that should be a nice, you know, even though it's got the uh, the slipping belt, I'll just say it's, you know, it's got a slipping belt. Someone can easily tighten it if you can, or, you know, replace the belt. And even if I get 30 quid for it, it was, it was three quid. Also off the same lady, uh, on the very same advert, I bought SNES games. There was Mario Kart, Super Mario All-Stars, and one of the adapters. So you can play Game Boy games, I think, on, uh, on the SNES. And it had the Power Rangers Game Boy game. And uh, I paid five pounds for those three games and three pound for this, so eight pound for everything. Um, and Mario Brothers went on auction for twenty five. Mario All Stars, I think, was about seventeen, eighteen. It went the other week, and the adapter and the Power Rangers game went for about twelve pound on the auctions. So, um, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Right, moving on. Let's see if we got anything else. <laughs> Managed to dig out this Philips DVD recorder. Um, no remote. They go from anywhere but from 25 quid auctions um, up to 70 quid for buy it now. You know, as I've mentioned in other videos and people might know anyway, I prefer to price stuff high, buy it now, and uh, let let an offer come in. Maybe accept a lower offer. You know, a lot of time, if you have a real lowball offer, it will generate interest and you get more viewers. And someone will buy outright while um, you're thinking about an offer or thinking how long to wait before you reject it if it's a stupidly low one. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't put this up for auction, you know, 25 quid. 70 quid buy it now, tends to have the instructions and a remote. There isn't a remote. Like I said, we're very lucky, um, sorry, unlucky for uh, getting remote controls with our stuff. Um, so I might price it at like 40 pound or something like that, 40, 50 pound and see what happens. Um, who knows? Right, here we're next. Um, Pioneer SX450, nice vintage radio here. Uh, on the note there, £40 they're going for um, on auction with bids. £80 buy it now. Um, I haven't tested it. This is what needs testing as well. And you've got some of the uh, some of the finish here is, is peeling off. Um, so that'll take a bit off. You know, the ones that are going for £80 were excellent condition ones. So, um, you know, we'll test it. It might not even work yet. But we seem to have a bit of luck with the... The newer stuff seems to not be working. Perhaps that's why they're, they're donating it. And the, the older stuff, people probably think no one wants it anymore. When instead, these are the ones that um, that people do want. So we'll test it and then we'll, you know, we'll get it up and see what happens. I uh, showed this on another video the other day. The Sanusi A80. Um, now there's two of these that have sold. Um, one went for £16. And the other one went for 195 or 190, something like that. Um, who knows? I don't think I'll get a 195. Um, I'll do a bit more work. That needs testing as well. Um, and you know, we paid again eight pound, six pound, something like that. So I'm sure we can make a, a tidy bit of profit. Um, Technics SLPG3 CD player. That's going for around 30 pound. Haven't tested it. I get all this stuff needs testing. So. I mean, we've got the TV, so I can plug it in, and hopefully, the uh, the thing will work. Otherwise, we need to. Uh, I'll have to get a whole setup done and blast everyone to uh, to death with some music. Not my singing, though. Uh, Dave VHS player, twenty five quid. They're going for the exact model, so should be good. I can watch some videos on there. Uh, JVC DVD player, got a remote. Woo, whip, woo, get in there. Got a remote. Uh, DVD player, you know, they'll go for 15 quid, something like that, probably. Haven't looked it up too much. Um, Philips, what's that? CD player, CD723. Um, that's going for around £30. 
I like this. I thought this might have been a bit of a bit of a nice one. A Roberts radio. Awful at uh, awful at focusing this phone, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Roberts radio. Nice vintage thing. RM40 it is. Um, I remember looking it up when I first got it and thinking, oh yeah, yeah, score, score. But looking now, they're selling for around thirty quid. So it must have been a while ago that I got it, thinking, yeah, score, score, because we've had a few uh, a few nicer bits than that recently. But you know. Profit's profit. We wouldn't have paid much for it. Probably five, six pounds. Um, uh, I just went to to uh, stop the last video and uh, it, I saw it wasn't recording. And I just thought, don't tell me I've just spent 20 minutes standing there and I haven't recorded any of it. But it cut off, I think, just as I was getting to, uh, to this. So luckily, I'll do the last couple of minutes again and hopefully try and merge it. So fingers crossed, you're watching this as one video. Um, I'm new at this, so you probably won't. Um, and you're probably watching it as two separate videos or not watching it at all, in which case it doesn't really matter what I'm saying anyway. But anyway, yeah, last couple of bits. <laughs> uh, Bush DVD VHS combo. Uh, I didn't look it up because I thought it was just a VHS, um, and they go for, you know, 20, 25 quid if they're half decent. The combo might be a little bit more. Like I said, haven't looked it up. It's the Bush DVHS one. Um, no remote or anything, but it is quite tidy. Uh, underneath, Samsung. DVD VHS combo again. Um, DVD V6700S. Um, I don't think there was many on there because I've just put a dash where I was looking them up. So maybe, you know, hopefully 15, 20 quid, something like that. Maybe 25. Um, I'm, I'm learning at this as well. I don't, you know, I don't know how to price things up or without doing some proper research. And I've just been looking through getting all these prices. So not, uh, not too detailed. Cambridge Audio CD34, just a CD player. Um, all looks quite tidy. Um, that's going for 30 to 40 quid um, on eBay. So that's all good. That gets to the end of it um, for now. Um, I will update anyone that wants to know as uh, as we go through and as they sell. First, I've got to get them tested and listed. But as you can see, we've got some space. Um, I'll probably put some of these back up there in a minute, but at least uh, I'll be a bit more organized. And I can try and get all this stuff done. And if we go back to the shop where we get our stuff, then uh, I'll try and avoid getting any more electricals just now. Um, and yeah, I'll leave it at that. So uh, thanks for listening, guys. Any comments, advice, definitely, you know, want to take on all the advice. If you can teach me something about stuff in my videos, then tell me because I want to know. I want to learn. Like I keep saying, the more you learn, the more you earn. So um, any advice, please like, share, comment questions uh subscribe if you haven't um and i'll speak to you soon with uh, hopefully an update about some of these items cheers guys bye